<laughs> is this like an introduction? I'm gonna introduce myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You can't forget that first time that you hook a fish. You just you can't shake that feeling, that that first adrenaline rush that is irreplaceable. There's, you can't put a price tag on it. Nothing will ever, ever get you to feel that way ever again. That's kind of what that was for me, for me personally. Something that always gets me and always just drives me nuts is, is, is our exotic species uh, that we have available to us in our fresh water systems down here in South Florida, from Broward County, I mean even north of that, everywhere, all the way down to Miami. Miami is really kind of like a mini Amazon. You got largemouth bass, peacock bass, you got cichlids, all types of cichlids. You got Midas cichlids, Mayan cichlids, jewel cichlids. You have, uh, you have wild shiners, you got catfish, you got paku. And even though we have this multitude of species, in our canal systems, there's still one species that reigns supreme, and that's the peacock bass, mainly because of its predatorial instincts and just the way that it likes to ambush prey. And it's just, it's irreplaceable. You, you just, you grab these fish and you hold them in your hands and you're like, holy shit, these guys have so much power and energy and aggression and you see it in their eyes. <laughs> They're such a mean territorial fish. He's gonna peel out a good 15 to 20 yards off of that reel, and you're really gonna feel the power that these fish have. I mean, as soon as you cast that line and you yank them and stick them right there at the mouth, after you release them, next thing you wanna do is catch another one because they're just so strong, and even the shape of their tails, the way it's made, it's made to paddle a lot of water. I mean, the moment you catch one, uh, you you realize the power that these fish have. I mean, it, it, you hear every fisherman talk about it. Oh, these peacock bass are, are strong fighters. But when you have one and you, you realize these fish don't stop fighting, they don't stop jumping, they, right until the moment you have them in your, in your hand. And even if you have them in your hand, they're still thrashing around, trying to get loose and back in the water. So that kind of goes back almost full circle to that irreplaceable feeling that you get that first time that you fish. Like that, that first adrenaline rush, you try to replicate that uh, frequently over and over again. It's not just the fact that it's an acrobatic and powerful fighter. These fish are beautiful. You look at them and you know they have these vibrant reds, these vibrant greens and yellows and, and orange and some of them even even have teal over their their, their fins and it's, it's it's amazing to look at them uh, and you can kind of see why so many South Florida fishermen are, are obsessed with catching these fish.
So that's basically it.